First up is Alad Williams. Having been in joint lead with James all week, Alad slipped into second place after scoring seven for his main course, giving him a total of 20 points. I know I need to raise my game again. I've got a six and two sevens, so you know I'm looking for the eight. The eight would be a fabulous score to get. So if I can pull that off for the dessert, it'd be blinding. So what's the dessert today? A lemon verbena baked custard with uh, strawberries and a black pepper shortbread. What's the lemon verbena? It's actually a herb. It's slightly kind of lemon sherbet flavour. Right. So you've got a really nice zingy flavour to it, really okay. fresh. So yeah. in a baked custard like this, you're going to have lovely fragrant flavour and, you know, it's going to kind of lift your taste buds. And you're putting black pepper in your biscuit? Black pepper and strawberries are a really good combination. Yeah. So it's my way of kind of getting your taste buds dancing with a little bit of fireness from the black pepper, yeah. the freshness of the strawberries and then the creaminess of the custard. Remaining true to style, Alid's once again stuck very close to the brief by sourcing almost all the ingredients for his lemon verbena baked custard with strawberries and shortbread from near his historic property. I think Alid might have a bit of a mountain to climb today. I mean, he's got a custard to get just right. It has to be perfectly set. Also, I'm not quite sure how the custard and the jelly are going to work together. They're quite similar textures with a biscuit that ties all in with it. So, a bit of a hung jury in that one, to be honest with you. The second competitor is James Summerin. Scoring nine for his main course has given him a total of 22, putting him two points in the lead. As far as this dessert's concerned, it's a little bit of an outside angle, but it's also something really unique and really elegant, and I think it's uh, definitely fit for His Royal Highness. What is the dessert? It's a beetroot parfait yeah. with chocolate and raspberry brownie. Sounds a bit American, brownie. You know, well, I really like chocolate. Uh, chocolate and beetroot works really well together. Raspberry and beetroot. And the main emphasis for me is raspberries. I love raspberries. They're probably my favourite fruit. So beetroot coming from the local farm. So this dessert has been inspired really from going to the wall garden, having a wander around, talking to the gardeners. The chocolate's an element in there because I like a little bit of chocolate. And I think it just, it just pulls the dish together. I can see uh, you've got some lemon and verbena here also. I'm going to make a little... A spuma of lemon verbena. Uh -huh. It's a slightly, you know, lemony sort of flavour. Hopefully it'll help pick up with the raspberries and that. Got but some over there as well. You know, you obviously heard one of my phone calls and thought you'd take the idea. Not quite. Confidence, obviously, running high, you know, obviously being the front runner. I'm pretty confident with this. This is really simple. He might be confident, but while chocolate is allowed as a larder essential, is he taking a risk by making this distinctly foreign ingredient the main component of his dish? There's nothing Welsh about chocolate. I don't think it needs to be there, to be honest with you. I mean, I haven't tasted the dish yet, but initial reaction, it sounds a bit sort of excess for me. Finally, it's Richard Davies. After a week of ups and downs, he's currently in last place with a total of 19 points. But can he turn his fortunes around? Only got one shot now to be here tomorrow cooking for the judges. Excited about uh, getting my dessert out. Very simple dish, and I can't wait to get started. Uh, take me through a dish. We're doing a, a mint mousse with hazelnut biscuit, uh, strawberry sorbet and juice. Sounds it's interesting. Kind of like a, a poshed up strawberries and cream. OK. The inspiration for the dish, where does that come from? See, the main, main inspiration behind the dish is <coughs> um, obviously the, the mint that we, we'll be getting from the walled gardens, yeah. uh, from the estate. You know, it's a real summer dish. Yeah. Presentation-wise, all sorted out, visualised? Yeah, I've, I've got a clear idea of what I'm doing today and, uh, you know, thankfully I don't really need the oven today, so yeah. hopefully there'll be no mishaps. Do you feel this dish is going to be strong enough to sort of lift you through? First position still up for grabs, you know, it's three points between the three of us, so, Absolutely. you know, it really is all to play for. Hoping to wow Stephen and win back the points he needs, Richard's devised a creative dish of mint mousse with hazelnut biscuit, strawberry sorbet and juice. I like the sound of his dish. I like the idea of the mint, the mousse, and the biscuit. My concerns for Richard's dish is that the mousse is set, you know, to his desired consistency.